Hello everybody, hope you're having a great summer, uh, enjoying some vacations and getting out of the heat. Uh, this is a, obviously a market update video that we do quarterly, and this is our summer 2024 market update video. As some of you may be aware, uh, may not be aware, there are some legal changes on the horizon uh, in regard to how we are going to show and or sell and purchase homes in Arizona. And while we believe that for the most part these changes uh, will ultimately not change business as usual for us, we'll pretty much be doing things as, as we normally do, we felt like it would be worthwhile to quickly go through the two primary changes that will go into effect as of August 1st of this year. And these changes are, are nationwide change, not just here in Arizona. The first big change starting at, uh, on August 1st is that prior to viewing any homes, buyers will be required to sign a buyer broker agreement. These buyer broker agreements have been around forever, uh, but uh, they've just rarely been used. Well, now they'll be a legal requirement. If a buyer would like to view a property and the seller of the property is not offering compensation to the buyer's agent, this buyer broker agreement will specify the compensation that is to be paid to the buyer's agent by the buyer. As always, the compensation amount is negotiable. You will know well ahead of time before going to see the home by us uh, if the seller is not offering any compensation. The second big change, which you as the buyer probably won't notice much at all, is that the actual compensation paid to the buyer's agent isn't gonna be listed in the MLS anymore. Not that you ever really looked for it in the first place. But where that matters to you is we as the agents are gonna call the listing agent, find out exactly what compensation is being given, and then if there is none given, we'll let you know, and then it's your decision if you want to see that house or not. So for example, let's say we're looking at a $500,000 house. We have a buyer broker agreement that says you're willing to pay us 3% of the purchase price to represent you, and then the seller on the other side isn't offering any commission. That would mean that at the close of escrow, Part of your closing cost would be an additional $15,000 for us to represent you as our commission. Now, in retrospect, if the seller is offering the 3% commission, then the seller would be paying that and your buyer broker agreement would, would be covered by the seller's obligation on that home. So in addition to some of the changes that are on the horizon, uh, we also wanted to obviously give you an update on what's going on on the ground in North Central in terms of the market. Since the beginning of the summer, the market definitely has slowed down in North Central. We've felt it um, and buyers and sellers seem to have felt it as well. Um, we're only getting about on average maybe one to two showings on our listings per week, uh, some less, some more. And then we're also, uh, you know, the buyers and sellers are, are kind of feeling that. And so we're seeing uh, buyers being a lot more aggressive on their offers coming in significantly under the asking prices sometimes. And then sellers are, we're seeing, definitely seeing an increase in price reductions. So that is all, all happening. North Central in general, the inventory has definitely increased, uh, not significant enough where we're seeing, you know, any major uh, value drops. But, you know, depending on how long this lasts, depending on how much more inventory comes in, and depending on if buyer demand continues to remain low, which it is, um, we, we may start seeing some, some prices softening. Uh, but right now, um, uh, we're, we're staying pretty steady in terms of values. So overall, since uh, about this time last year, we've actually seen about a 57% increase in total single family detached homes in the greater Phoenix market, um, which is a pretty good increase, obviously. However, it's still well below what we'd consider normal for, uh, for our market. So um, although supply is increasing, it has not increased to the levels that we would hope to see it at. And then that increase in supply mixed with the decreased buyer demand due to the interest rates has really balanced out our market. So that Crawford market index number that I often refer to is, is at just about a hundred right now, it's just a little bit over. Um, so that signifies a, a, a balanced market between buyers and sellers for the overall market in general. Um, when you get out to areas like Buckeye or Queen Creek where there's a lot of new development and you're competing with the builders, those numbers change and um, the, the buyers have a little bit more of an advantage. And then when you're in Central Corridor here, 
Um, obviously, we're not competing with a lot of new construction, so the sellers still have a little bit of an advantage. Now, if it's a great house and it's well priced and it's perfectly located, then there's a lot of buyers that are looking for that. So we'll see a lot of buyer demand for that specific home, but we're talking in generalities. It's, it's a pretty balanced market overall. I want to say the biggest thing that we've seen really is we've had these little ticks in the in the mortgage interest rates. We saw one back in December. We saw one just here a few weeks ago. And every time we see a, a little tick in the interest rates, um, we see a, an, an almost immediate uptick in buyer demand. Um, and what's really interesting, uh, basically signifies to me uh, that there's this pent up demand of buyers that are waiting for interest rates to drop. Well. When interest rates do or when they drop, if they drop, then all these buyers are gonna flood the market at the same time. And although we have an increase in supply, it's not enough homes to be able to sustain all the buyers that'll come back out. So therefore prices are gonna go up. So really as a buyer, you have a couple of options. You can buy now and yeah, interest rates are high, but you have kind of choices. Maybe you can get some concessions, do a rate buy down. And then you're not competing against everyone when rates, if and when rates come down and you can just refinance or you can wait on the sideline like a lot of people are and compete with them and, and, and potentially pay more, albeit maybe you have a lower interest rate, um, but you're gonna end up ultimately paying more for the house over time. So um, although it's tough to be a buyer right now, we understand, we get it, uh, interest rates are really high. It is a good time to buy. Um, if you read all the headlines, there's a lot of growth in Phoenix or the, the general area. Every every time you open the newspaper, there's some new big business that's moving here or, or commercial plant that's being built. So um, it really is a good time to buy. I know that sounds counterproductive with high interest rates, but remember, you can always refinance. So if you want more information on all of the data facts or a specific zip code that you might live in or just the market in general, please reach out to Steve and I. We're happy to answer any questions you might have. We're always here for you guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Have a great rest of your summer.